Hey guys, welcome to Cine Topical. Nate here with Strange Wing and Miss Darby, and today we're reacting to trailer number one for One Night in Miami. So this is coming out January 15th. I'm surprised it's not coming out sooner so we could get like Oscar nominations and stuff because mm -hmm. it looks like the type of film that would. Yeah. I'm also yeah. curious because mm. one of my favorite this film. films of uh, biopics of all time is Spike Lee's Malcolm X. Mm. It's going to be hard because like mm. I was like the whole time I was like Denzel would have did that line better. <laughs> but Muhammad Ali, uh, Malcolm X, I wonder how much the Muslim side Oh, this is going to come in there, too. I don't know much about Jim Brown Sam Cooke, so I hope they, they hit those characters a bit harder because I don't, don't believe there's biopics for them. But I'm definitely curious. It doesn't really give us a plot. It's like mm -hmm. these more important people are in Miami. Yeah. And, yeah, it looks like some KKK stuff's going on. And then it looks like they're having a meeting. And then Mom Ali's kicking some ass. <laughs> Fly, what was they float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. He was doing some of that stuff. So a lot of questions that were unanswered. So I'm definitely curious to check it out. And Regina King. Yeah. Great, great actress. Yeah, that was my biggest I'm takeaway. Curious. I mean, that lady definitely knows her way around Hollywood pretty well at this point. So I think that's really cool that this is her film. Um, yeah, like, I mean, I'm 100% going to watch this. I mean, it's about four incredibly influential people. Obviously, you know, it's like a double-edged sword, right? So, like, obviously... The, the last couple of years we've seen almost this like second civil rights movement, which I'm 100, like 100% behind. Uh, and in light of that, we've gotten a lot of like person of color centric films since then. And a lot of them have been very, very good. And very few of them have been just awful. Uh, and you know, I, I just don't trust corporations. So part of me is just like, ah, people are just using the current cultural climate to like make money off of it. Mm -hmm. But it is still giving like people of color creative outlets and creative freedom to make these types of movies. So I guess ultimately I'll take the good over the bad. Uh, yeah, the only in terms of the trailer itself, I'm with you. It wasn't the best trailer in the world because I have no idea what this movie is about other mm -hmm. than like the like the star power, like the real life star power and the like people who have all passed on at this point star power. But I'm gonna watch it no matter what. So. Yeah, similar place here. Just not knowing what the plot's about, but also not caring. I trust where this movie's going to take me mm -hmm. because of the characters that are involved in it. And, like, I do agree. Like, um, Jim Brown and Sam Cooke, mm -hmm. they don't get enough attention. And, like, Sam Cooke's one of my favorite artists of all time. So that was really exciting for me to see. And I thought there were, even though the plot wasn't really revealed, I thought there were moments where it, the trailer showed lighthearted moments, mm -hmm. moments of fun and intimacy and closeness with others, and then moments where there was a cause they must have gathered for and they were fighting for something. So that drew me in to want to at least watch another trailer and then watch what comes out in January. So I'm really excited for it. Don't know what it'll be like, but I would imagine it's going to be really good. Yeah. I. So one thing that I just remembered that caught my eye on the trailer, I wonder if that's really how the, like, 
uh, the phrase black power got invented or mm-hmm. if that's like a creative liberty because it kind of almost felt like a, like how Han Solo got his last name in Solo moment. But like, if that's how it really happened, then I want that. Then I mean, sometimes things like that happen, yeah. but it also was just like a little... That kind of reminds Really? Me. That's how Malcolm X came up with that? That, that kind of reminds me of that scene in Shred Out of Compton where Ice Cube's like Bob Felicia kicking a, a rat out of the hotel. <laughs> yeah. and, and, in the hotel and then it was in the movie. But I'm also curious if schools taught predominantly, because I'm sure we all went to pretty white schools. I know you and I did. But if they taught us history better, mm. would we understand this trailer more? Because mm. that's what I, when you guys were talking, I was kind of thinking about, I was like, I don't know what they did in Miami. We didn't learn about Malcolm X in school. So I'm curious mm-hmm. about who, like, I, f- I just feel like we don't understand the trailer. Like, yeah, it's probably a little mm-hmm. bit better. I mean, I learned about Malcolm X in school. I didn't. I didn't. But, well, that doesn't surprise me considering where you're from. Well, you and went to then, school three years after he got shot, you old left. fuck. And, yeah, uh, I'm 100% sure that you probably just weren't paying attention. No. But, yeah. They don't teach us enough about and like, it. So I guess, like, I agree with that wholeheartedly. And the, I guess the other thing is, like, so Sam Cooke's a musician and Jim Brown was a football player. I'm sure in their, like, specific, like, niche circles they get talked about. Like, I'm sure if you talk to people who just love NFL history, they could probably tell you all about Jim Brown. Or if you talk to people who are just, like, love music history. I mean, I, I'm i sure that I've heard Sam Cooke's music before. That's I've, good. And, like, you obviously really like it. So, like, yeah, I think what I'm saying is just, like, I ult- I really do agree with you. Like, you know, obviously this night was significant enough to make a film out of it. And it is sad that this will be the first time I've ever heard about it. Mm-hmm. So. Well, I like that there's so many characters coming in together. Because usually when you have a film like this, it focuses on one African-American character and their journey. Mm-hmm. And in this, it's almost like... African American rights and culture is a character of its own because of the cause they're all coming towards. So I really I like that unique factor of it. I'm excited to watch. Mm-hmm. Well, if you like this episode of White People Learn Things, <laughs> tell us down in the comment section. <laughs> Scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. <laughs>